Yo, what's up everybody? The dude, the rebel, the guy that serves the next level, Jabor King Sergeant, aka 1192, saying what's up. I want to welcome everybody to another Key Clip episode for today. This here is Key Clip 294, Season 5, Episode 54. We are so close to getting 300 and hopefully some new things will be coming up for next season, if possible. Get the ball rolling, I'm sure. So, uh, for, you know, like always, before we uh, get to the review, a little recap. We did our con at 290, which is also my birthday con. We uh, did a little tiki, da tiki dance, level of sing battle to um, 291. Talked about wild con in 292, which I hope I'll, I'll change. I'll probably go that next year if it comes up. And the last video for 293, we looked at the rare Tiger Electronic uh, Pokemon camera. Once again, I found it in a box of comments my friend sold to me a while back. And now, <laughs> something else that I found in the book of comics, which is very, very rare if you can see these again. Ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon Battle Coin Games. Gold coins. Oh, they popped out. Oh, well. <laughs> Probably that either way. Yes, this here is a, a Pokemon Battle Card. Get a battle card, uh, like, rule, and I think had the has the paper. Ready to go. Ah, where did the paper go? I swear. Oh, right here. <laughs> yes. The Pokemon Battle Coin game. Like, like I said, once again, just clean out some uh, stuff because I sold some comics, too. And I'm like, this is something I've never seen. I've never seen it before. And if you hear this, real coins. Ah. Wait, wait. There you go. Before I show you guys. Yeah. Three coins. And there's like way to it. I'd be surprised if there's actually value to these. But uh, apparently, and I've seen it before. Um, or no, I, I've, I've seen the rules of stuff. Um, it kind of reminds me of Pogs. If y'all remember those, it's basically like those little cardboard or plastic uh, little coins. And they have like different pictures on them. Like, yeah, I think there's a few video games. Some obscure art. They look cool. I never... I never actually had Pog, surprisingly. But I got these. Ugh, gold coins. Yes. Um, so basically what this is, what the whole object of the game, you, I think, play on like a flat service, and you spin the coins, and if you look on here, you spin the coins, and basically you got to hit the number size or whatever, or you got to hit the items, like whoever gets the bigger number, of course, they win that coin or they beat it. So I pretty sure on the rule. There's like a short rule book. Very, very short. Yeah, so uh, for one, like two player games, uh, choose who goes first. The player goes first until the end of the game, blah, blah. Both players, flip your coins over to reveal the battling Pokemon and you spin them. Yes, you have to spin it like Beyblades. So, and I think uh, I think the way it is designed is actually spin because I've seen a video on it. It's like, all right. So, first player, you stop your coin first with your index finger and move it slowly towards your opponent and start spinning coin. Second player, you stop your and slide it toward the opponent so that they're both blah, blah, blah. Then, so you basically clash it, and then both coin wedges where they where they touch and check the charge printed on the inside of the cup or coin holder. So basically, that thing. Yeah, so charge printed. Yeah, so, and then uh, basically use it again for next battle. So once again, you basically go for a higher number, or, you know, depending on the item. So that's kind of how it plays out. But... Like this is really cool. So let's check out the Pokemon we got here. Hold up. Put it back up. Go right here. Okay. So for the Pokemon, uh, we got uh we got some good ones here. First off, we got the the Zubat. Now definitely whoop, the fraction. I definitely love the artwork on here, the coloring and the shine. It's just so amazing on here. We got, we got a Zubat and we got a confusion, which is basically one of the powers and then some other numbers in the green. And next, we got Gold Duck. Yeah, and the fact his name is Gold Duck, but yeah, he's blue. Um, definitely, I liked it. Kind of more fighter stance. And one of my other Pokemons that I use in uh, Pokemon Stadium, if anything, and one of the, I don't know how many times he's used in the episode, but Aerodactyl. It's like the dinosaur. It's one of the, uh, not legendaries, but one of the, uh, Pure story Pokemon's. I seen an episode with a minute, but I, like I said, I don't know how rare he is as far as being the character. But like I said, this, thing, this thing is really cool, and I'm like, man, like I said, I've never seen this. We, 
Like, I've seen Pokemon, like, cards. I've seen figures. There's keychain, but this is just, and let alone the movies, but this is just, like, beyond imaginary. Like, all right, I can do with that. So that's, that's been the whole entire game. And, of course, uh, I, if I could find these again somewhere, that would just be, like, unbelievable because I'm pretty sure there's some rarity towards the coins. The fan, like, I, I, I'm not sure much, but, you know, if I were to have all of them, yeah. And there's three. Yeah, they didn't coins. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's, it's all the Pokemon. It has to be because it's all G1. So, that's basically the whole Pokemon Battle Call game. If you can find these, buy them. <laughs> so, that will be the end for this key clip here. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did. Uh, I gotta get ready soon. But before I leave, like always, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Also find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash do too. Also on Twitter and Instagram, do love and too. And even Snapchat, do love and too. And until next time, stay tuned for 295. And I'll see you when I see y'all. Peace. Stay awesome.